As someone who both plays games and minds using video cards for both work and fun, I decided it was time to tell gamers in words they can understand, like dank and headshot, what mining is, when it affects them, when it doesn't, and some common misconceptions about mining on GPUs. A long time ago, in this galaxy, the year was 2009 and Bitcoin had just launched. This was the first cryptocurrency to really take off, although there had been other cryptocurrencies in the past, or at least attempts at making a cryptocurrency. When Bitcoin first launched, the best way to mine for it, or to process transactions on your computer and earn rewards, was indeed by using graphics cards. However, this only lasted about a year and a half to two years because people got their hands on FPGAs, or Field Programmable Gate Arrays, which are basically like a processor on a chip that you can program to be hyper-efficient at doing a limited number of things. One way to think of it is your regular processor that you have in your computer by AMD or Intel is like a graphing calculator. It has a lot of things it can do, but mining is a lot simpler. It only needs addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And if that was all you had to do, but you had to do it on a graphing calculator, you would spend so much time looking through all the buttons to type in all the math equations that things would be a lot faster if you just did it on a regular calculator with fewer buttons. That's a gross oversimplification, but I think it helps to kind of serve as a good metaphor for understanding why a simpler chip design, specifically designed to do mining, would be faster than general purpose hardware. And within a couple years of FPGAs completely replacing graphics cards for Bitcoin mining, people figured out that they could custom engineer their own chips and get those fabricated in huge mass production at TSMC, Global Foundries, you get the idea. And that is where ASICs were born. So this particular USB stick here has a chip on it specifically engineered to do Bitcoin mining. This one USB stick is many hundreds, possibly thousands, times faster than whatever CPU you have in your computer right now. And this stick only costs double digit number of dollars as opposed to triple digit numbers of dollars. But this can't run Crisis or Doom, so there is that. And in addition to these custom engineered chips being much faster, this only uses 5 watts of electricity compared to 50 to 100 watts of electricity. So that's a massive savings in both buying the hardware and running it, and you're earning more rewards. So it basically makes no sense to use a CPU or a graphics card compared to this. Now, if you've looked up pictures of Bitcoin or Ethereum mining ASICs or seen what Bitmain has been making recently, you'll notice it doesn't really look like this anymore. That's because, just like mining rigs where you get a bunch of GPUs slammed together, you take just a single or two chips, like are on this device, and what you do is you stick a bunch of them in a really tight place. So this box here holds 1,200 watts and is enough to heat your entire house. It also has 128 of the chips that this has, and all of them will only mine Bitcoin, or anything else using the same encryption algorithm. Each one of these black squares here is a processor, so to speak, that has been custom engineered for mining Bitcoin and nothing else. Back in the day, about five or six years ago, this machine would have earned you hundreds of dollars a month. So now that we've covered the history and you know that Bitcoin is no longer using graphics cards, but several altcoins are because they haven't had custom chips engineered for them just yet, or like Monero, they specifically engineer them to not be able to run on specialized hardware. How does this affect you as a gamer? Well, basically, whenever the crypto prices go up and it becomes super profitable to buy graphics cards to mine for them, 
for the coins that still use graphics cards for mining, that's when your graphics card prices are going to go up. Generally, if you keep an eye on the Bitcoin price, you'll be able to see if the Bitcoin price goes up, that's when graphics card prices go up, just because the altcoins in general tend to follow Bitcoin. 